Alright guys, so here's how to make your lights voice controlled. You can also do this for almost any other part of your house. Play sequence. So to do this, you're going to need a micro servo controller, a servo, a standard USB cord, some servo extension wire, and a 4 AA battery holder. So now let's talk more about the AA battery holder. So to make it work with the servo controller, I cut in half a servo extension wire. Then I got the male end and stripped the red and black wire. The white wire doesn't need anything done to it. Then I also stripped the red and black wire coming off of the battery holder. So after you did that, you can twist the red to red and the black to black. Then put a small piece of tape on the end of the white wire and on the connections of the red and black wire. So now let's talk about mounting the servo. So here's a small servo that's attached to the light switch. It also has a custom built metal extension arm, which ensures that it turns the light on every time. So here's a standard servo. You can actually just attach it to the side of the switch and then it should be able to turn on the switch. But there are a lot of different kinds of switches. This one is one of the most common type. But now let's say you have a flip switch, which is one of the most common types of switches. So these kind of look like this servo, and there would be the switch. If you have one of those light switches, the best way to control it is to mount the servo right beside the switch, and then put a metal arm going down to the actual switch. That way it turns it on and off. Okay, so after you have your servo switch mechanics worked out, then we can start putting it all together. So first, let's hook the battery pack to the controller. To do this, make sure your black wire is all the way on the end, and then plug it in. Okay, after that, now we can plug in the servo, which goes right beside the power. Always make sure that the black wire is on the end, and the red wire is in the middle. Now we can plug in our USB, then plug the other end into your computer. Okay, so after you have everything connected, go on your computer and download Maestro Control Center. The link will be in the description below. Your computer should already have Windows Speech Recognition. Just go to the Start menu and then search Speech Recognition. So after you have those two found and downloaded, open Speech Recognition and the Control Center. Okay, so once you have everything open, you can go ahead and check the first server control box. Then slide the adjuster to here and press Save Frame. Then slide it back and press Save again. Now we can see what the sequence looks like. Now you can turn on Windows Speech Recognition and then say Play Sequence. Play Sequence. You can see that the mouse moves over to sequence and presses it, therefore activating the servo. So now let's see the light switch in action. Okay, so here's another view. Play sequence. Okay, so I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. Play sequence.